Welcome back everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at y'all today with a video about the manufacturer of these beautiful firearms you see here in front of me. That is Molot Oruzi and I gotta tell y'all, they're beautiful. All right, so first off, we've got a couple of RPKs here in front of me. Molot is a firearms manufacturer out of Russia that originally started in 1940. It was uh, located somewhere around the Moscow area, but uh, they actually had to evacuate and then move to where their current facility is at the uh, Vyetsky Polyani. I think I'm saying that right there in Russia. And uh, you might know them because they were the original manufacturers or one of the I don't want to say original, but they were one of the manufacturers that widely produced the PPSH-41 and also eventually the, well, the very famous Makarov pistol that we all know and love, all right? So very cool guns. Today what they're doing is pretty much manufacturing civilian legal firearms, of course. A couple of years ago, there were a lot of sanctions placed on Russia, including their importation of their firearms. So we don't see a whole lot of Russian made guns anymore. And the ones that we do see were either already here prior to the importation ban, or these are the last couple of guns that have been allowed to enter the country from Russia. So. I don't know the exact story behind these, if they were already here or they were recently imported. All I know is we got them and I'm happy we do. And I am, I'm in love with these guns. If you haven't seen our video announcing this guy, the 762 by 39 RPK as our current giveaway, I highly advise you go check that out because I mag dump it with a drum mag and save the last few rounds to shoot it, you know, one handed because I really wanted to. I don't know why I just wanted to. All right. But anyway, let's talk a little bit more about Malat. So we know Malat and their Vepper line of firearms. They've been super popular, especially the Vepper 12, which is pretty much just a Think about an AK-47, 12 gauge, all right? And those things run, and they run well. I've had my opportunity to shoot a few of those, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because it's gonna fall eventually, so there we go. But anyway, I've had the opportunity to shoot a few Vepers in my life, and I, I really regret not having one in my collection as it is right now, but it is what it is. What I would like to add to my collection, though, are some RPKs, Russian made RPKs. Malat still making all sorts of civilian, you know, firearms for even the Russian market. Uh, yes, Russian civilians can own firearms, but over there you have to have like a shotgun license for at least five years before you're eligible to get a rifle license. Some weird stuff. I know, you know, they don't know what freedom is though. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, Russia. But anyway, they do make some pretty cool firearms, okay? And the RPK that they make is no exception. This thing is a beauty. The first time I fired it was what you guys saw in that video introducing the RPK as our giveaway with the 75 round uh, Korean drum mag that we have to offer. And just loaded up the mag, inserted gun, charged it, and what you guys saw on video was me shooting it. And it was flawless. It worked really well. Now this guy does have a 23 inch chrome lined barrel on it, which is super cool, cold hammer forged. And because of that, you're gonna have, and it's also a little bit thicker than like what your standard AK is, because the entire idea behind the RPK was well, full auto fire for a sustained amount of time. So you're thinking a high rate of fire for a long period of time, that barrel will begin to warp and heat up and that's gonna throw your accuracy wherever the heck it is. So a little bit thicker barrel is gonna be nice to have, you know, to maintain your accuracy and reliability at the end of the day. So obviously cool. But anyway, the whole gun itself weighs about nine pounds and is, it's actually, when you think about nine pounds for a light machine gun, if it were, just, you know, disclaimer, these are all semi-automatic and, you know, civilian safe, if that's what you want to call it, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> the ATF's funny. But anyway, so all of these are semi-automatic. And in addition to not only having the little bit longer barrel, a little bit thicker barrel, if you come back a little bit further, you're also gonna have a little bit wider uh, receiver on it. So Zastava does a great job with like the M70 and they have that little bit larger bulge trunnion right up here. They're still both like stamped receivers, not like, but they are still both stamped receivers, just a little bit thicker in that area because that area, again, let's see if I can show this off to y'all without knocking down a bunch of stuff. You'll see this right in here. This is the area that's a little bit thicker because if you think about it, it makes sense, right? This is where all the explosions are taking place to send that round down the barrel. So you want this to be the most 
tough area of the gun, and that's exactly what they did, all right? So Malott, yes, fantastic manufacturer that keeps on making really cool stuff. It's just very unfortunate that I don't know how much of their stuff we're actually gonna see anymore. I mean, these guns here are already super expensive. You can find them on the market, which is cool, but you're gonna be paying like six, seven, even $8,000 for these things, and it's cool, don't get me wrong, but the fact is, if we didn't have that ban on the importation, we could probably see these for at least half that price, if not more. So, I mean, you think about it, one gun that I really love that could be a comparison to this is like the James River Armory M72. I love shooting that gun. And though there are some slight differences on the guns, if we were to have one of those on the table here compared to this, you would see polymer furniture versus wood furniture, but everything else looks the same, and you can literally buy the M72 regularly at a fraction of the cost and it shoots like I don't want to say just as good because just as good in the firearms world has become like a derogatory thing to say but it shoots fantastic all right it shoots really well and compares equally to the RPK how about that? Does that sound pretty good to you guys? I think it sounds pretty good. So again, just the importation ban really sucks, but that's why you're going to see the prices of these keep on ticking up. Of course, I've been reading online where some of you guys have seen this become available and you're like, oh, that's awesome. And it's like, yeah, I picked that guy up for like, uh, you know, just a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, you know, several years ago. And I am glad I did because wow, return on investment has been awesome. But Let's be real, if I, if I had one in most like, most with most of the guns that I have in my safe, yeah, I've seen the value increase and that just means I wanna hold on to them harder and not let them go. So I'm really bad at investing, I guess. But anyway, continuing on with these guns, um, you have seen enough with the 762 by 39 I think. Let's show off the 545 guy, though they're pretty much identical, except one just is 545 and has a slightly straighter magazine compared to the 762 by 39 which has a little bit more of a curved mag but really i just need more room on the table so let's put this guy down and we'll bring it back up when we talk about the giveaway so here's one thing that i think is really cool about having this rpk set up in 545 because 545 is a fantastic cartridge if matt were in here he'd be saying yeah it absolutely is so 545 by 39 shoots really well it's a fast shooter flat shooter and it is coming out there to vibe check some steel plates if it's being shot through a 23 inch barrel like it is on this guy here so Ooh, this thing is spicy. Now, what else is cool about the 545 cartridge is the fact that it's light recoiling, comparable to like 5.56. Seems fair enough, fair enough, right? So fast shooting round coming out of something like this that's supposed to sustain a high rate of fire for a longer period of time is very cool. Continuing on about this guy, let's talk about the sights on it. Pretty much your standard type of uh, AK sight right here, sitting above your standard AK size thread pitch, 14 by one left hand twist, cool. Bipod, nice. And right over here on this guy, you have what's called the like RPK sights is what typically people call it. All it is is a windage adjustment that's right back here. All right, you can see this guy, you just rotate that and you're ready to rock and roll. So anyway, also have your elevation, so easy enough and on these guys too they have the optics mount over here that's that's able to accept a variation of different AK uh, types of uh, rail mounts so if you wanted to throw an optic on this guy you absolutely can and I would advise for it sure why not I will say that the iron sights on these are still easy to pick up if any of you shot an AK you're pretty much getting the same thing it's just this one has a windage adjustment which is nice all right and it just pulls and you rotate it that way, by the way. I keep playing with it and forgetting to pull, but <laughs> there it is. But uh, anyway, uh, standard dust cover uh, and talking a little bit more about this guy here, it does have a side folding stock on it, which is pretty cool. Um, if you're having to transport it, it is a long gun when you think about it. So if you're having to transport it, just having the, the option to fold the stock off to the side is pretty nice. And uh, I struggled a little bit on the 762 by 39 because these are new guns, so they're a little stiff, but I'm gonna see. So that one was really easy. <laughs> so, so there's that, but there you have it right there for your everyday carry if you need it to be, all right? And then of course, 
like a lot of that Russian style, you have what's called that uh, thumb capture, thumb trap type of button system. Where the heck is it? There it is. Right here, you just push that button and now the stock will fold back into place. Shoot that guy on over and now you're ready to rock and roll. So I haven't pulled the trigger on this guy just yet, the 545, uh, but I am super excited to. But with that being said, I have pulled the trigger quite a bit now on the 7.62x39 RPK. The guy will bring right back up here. And of course, it's our current giveaway. So let's talk about that for just a second here. Giveaways through us here at Classic Firearms. Uh, they're free to you guys. No purchase necessary whatsoever. And it's not who has the most entries to win. All it takes is one. Go ahead and hit that like button if you're tired of me having to say that. But there's a lot of you guys I still see down in the comment section that are saying, you know, some things that kind of don't make sense. One of you guys said something not too long ago about, you know, if all it takes is one to win, why would I get any more entries? Because the more entries you have, the, the better your chances. That's literally all it is. And it's at no cost to you, except for maybe a little bit of time and give, bringing you like all the best content. So what do you have to lose? Absolutely nothing, all right? So don't miss out on that. And yes, we need your email. Why? Because that's how we notify the winner. How was the winner selected, you ask? Well, we have a system that just randomly generates a number, and then that number is tied to the equal number of whatever entry it is and whoever that entry belongs to, and boom, there's our winner, all right? Completely random, so there you have it. And of course, all of these uh, winners will be contacted, like I said, via email. So if you are receiving direct messages from accounts that appear to be us, make sure you double check. There is only one true classic firearms. If you see a classic firearms that has two M's in it or two R's or a bunch of underscores, it's not us. Don't fall for it. And if they're asking for credit card information via direct message, don't give them your credit card number. Don't fall for it, guys. It sucks, they're scammers, they make us look bad, they make everybody look bad, so just block them, report them, do all that type of fun stuff, all right? Okay, enough of all that. Let's talk a little bit more about Malat and just how cool they are. Granted, like I said, I don't know how much more we'll be seeing of Malat here in the States, so other than, you know, private sales, gun broker, whatever it might be, I don't know. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think is gonna happen with Malat and the Vepper lines of firearms that we are currently getting or, you know, currently have in the US market? Hopefully we will see some more soon. I don't know what else maybe you got approved for importation. I have no idea, but all I know is I'm going to be really sad when the winner gets this guy here, but excited for you, whoever it is, probably watching, all right? But anyway, like I said, Malat's been around since the 1940s, coming out with pretty cool guns. Everybody knows the PPSH-41, super high rate of fire, little SMG that uh, I'm pretty sure like Call of Duty Cold War had it on all that type of stuff if you ever want to just, you know, play a video game and shoot it because that's the only time I'll ever get to pull the trigger on one, pull the trigger on one, right? So. There you go, and also the Makarov pistol, which I have shot in person, and I love. It's it's an awesome little little gun, so there we are. Leaving it at that. Guys, last thing I wanna talk about is your entry methods. You can simply visit the website, watch a couple videos, or type in something as simple as a code word, and the code word for this guy is Malot. Don't forget it. It kinda makes sense with this video anyway, right? M-O-L-O-T. Let me know again down in the comments section what's some of your favorite Malot produced firearms. I'm curious to hear from it, hear from you guys and hear about it. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.